We gather, Lord, before your presence today, remembering our dear batchmates who have gone ahead of us. We thank you for their lives, valuable contribution to this institution, and dedication as healthcare professionals. Through this university, we form a family and feel you, your compassionate presence from each other. In times of need, you are here for us. You help throughout the years so that we feel the joy and warmth of togetherness. Let the memories we have rekindle the past with love and laughter. And in our coming together, we celebrate our faithfulness. Our thanks to you, O Lord. Amen.
Good morning, everyone. Um, I'll be sharing with a few more of our nurses, um, classmates that have gone ahead of us. And the first one that I will be sharing on is Jennifer Villanueva Pal. The things that I'll be sharing is not just from me, but a contribution from the rest of our classmates that were able to let me know what they wanted me to share about um, our precious classmates. Jennifer Pal was one of our quiet ones in the class, but getting to know her revealed her gentleness in her ways. She was God-fearing, so easy to get along, and always had a cheerful disposition. Jen was refined in her demeanor and soft-spoken. She was a loving wife and a caring mom. Jen was active in all of her Silliman University Alumni Association in New Jersey and New York. Those activities, she was really active because she was very supportive with her husband, Joel, who was serving as the president of the organization at that time. She was one who enjoyed her time with her classmates, even at the time when she was in pain, when they were on a trip to Maryland. But she never sought focus on herself, even in those difficult and painful times of her illness. She was a lovely lady. Yes, Jen was. And according to one of our classmates, she always had this expression of, um, Sige lang. So that's what I can share about Jen. People of God, let us remember what the Lord has assured us as written in the Gospel of John, chapter 14, verse 17. And that it says, Peace I leave you. My peace I give to you. I do not give you as the world gives. So do not let your hearts be troubled, and do not let them be afraid. Although the Lord and His presence is always with us, and sometimes we feel afraid, and in times of trouble, in times of grief, and in times of remembering, there might be times that in that recollection will ignite pain and sorrow, but be comforted that God is with you and knows the longing of your heart. In our celebration of the blessed life, remembering what the Lord has done, yet their life and your connection with them continues through the family and through the College of Nursing. The presence of family that continues with the fellowship continues to strengthen the band of friendship. So we give thanks to God for how the family of nurses through all these years, the graduates of this institution, remain loyal to their alma mater. They may have left the halls of Silliman, Lord, yet their love becomes the guiding light for them to continue to come back and remember the good years as they celebrate successes and be there for one another in times of challenges. So thank you, Lord, for being there, for being the rock and the anchor, and they become your instrument to the world. Thank you for their lives and their contribution to humanity and to this university. Thank you for the blessing and warmth they continue to have for each one another. And as their beautiful lives and the beautiful lives that are now remembered, Thank you that they may continue to live on the legacy that each one of them have embedded in their hearts as the Silliman education has taught them. So thank you for the blessing of life. Thank you for the words of remembrance. And thank you for the memories that continues to echo even beyond. And so Lord, for the prayers of your people now lifted before you, their own thanksgiving for you. We give you thanks and praise. 
as we offer this prayer in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Friends, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up His countenance and give you peace now and always. Go now, my friends, and share the love of God to the rest of the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.